The person police say is responsible for causing a wrong way wreck in downtown Atlanta before taking off down the highway is behind bars tonight. Atlanta News first anchor Carly Barnett joining us now in studio. Carly, this was a wild chase. Savannah, there were a lot of moving parts here. Definitely a crazy sequence of events that happened last night, and we caught up with the lieutenant today who gave chase even as that pursuit took them over a fence and onto the interstate. What started as a night on patrol in downtown Atlanta Thursday turned into a pursuit Fulton County Lieutenant Michael Lynch will never forget. I heard a motorcycle's engine revving up. As I was looking around, um, I, I noticed a black and blue slingshot traveling southbound in the northbound lanes of MLK, which is only a one way at a high rate of speed. A slingshot is a three wheeled motorcycle, kind of like this. And just a second later, he heard a crash. The slingshot hit a minivan. The people in the van were OK, but the slingshot driver took off running. He ran from the accident location all the way down to Jesse Hill, jumped the fence, got onto the interstate 7585 southbound. He was running northbound in the emergency lane as we were pursuing him. A deputy was down the street and saw Lieutenant Lynch running after the suspect, so he joined to help. A good example of partnership with all of our other surrounding agencies in cooperation where they were able to actually apprehend this hit and run suspect, even though they were not, you know, that was not part of their normal duties. Natalie Ammons, communication director for the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, says they were in the right place at the right time to help. From the highway, the suspect ran back over to the parking garage at Jesse Hill, and that's where he was ultimately apprehended. The case was turned over to Atlanta police, and Lieutenant Lynch says for him, this was a new one. This is actually my first time in my 24 years of law enforcement I've ever chased somebody on the interstate. Well, Lieutenant Lynch said it is important to know that if you are driving one of those slingshots, you do actually need to wear a helmet. The driver has been identified as DeRoss Jeffrey. It's still unclear the exact charges that he's facing tonight. Savannah. Carly, thank you.